Najee Harris was ruled out of Monday night's game against the Indianapolis Colts, and Anthony McFarlane and Benny Snell handled the running back snaps because Jalen Warren was out. Now Jalen Warren is healthy. He's been medically cleared, is full expected to be full go, uh, recovering from his hamstring injury. And so if I were to pick a Pittsburgh running back, it's going to be one of the most dynamic running backs in the NFL, and that's Jalen Warren. We've seen that with his fantasy points per touch. We've seen that with his juke rate. We've seen that um, with his uh, break, uh, broken tackles, right? This is a guy who's, you know, a lighter version of Tony Pollard, uh, Kadarius Tony, right? This is a, a player who can make moves on the field. Every time he steps on the field, he's trying to make guys miss. And that's what you want from a running back, something Najee Harris simply it hasn't been doing this year, whether it's been due to injury or, or just not being as talented. Jalen Warren is a diamond in the rough. And look, I had said this a few weeks ago, if Najee Harris ever is out due to injury, Jalen Warren steps in as a running back too and is less volume dependent because of his ability to make plays on the field. He's a dynamic playmaker and he's shown that in his yards per route run um, and his breakaway run rate, his breakaway uh, runs all of it, the dynamic plays, and he's a capable pass catcher too. So Jalen Warren, if I'm picking of the three, Benny Snell, Anthony McFarland, or Jalen Warren, it's by far Jalen Warren, the superior talent, and I think that's who's going to get the majority of opportunity in uh, Week 13's game.